Hello and welcome uh, to a quick uh, video tutorial uh, over in the days forum MM Italy uh, proposed a question uh, about moving a point along a line uh, so what I've done is I've recreated uh, the line that that uh, he had posted in the forum and uh, what he was wanting to do is uh, move this point let me change the point color right quick uh, I'm going to change, uh, change it to something that I prefer okay now uh, what he was wanting to do was move this point along this line and uh, okay so in order hexagon does not have a feature to uh, slide uh, vertices or points uh, along the line so the only way to really do that is to um, is create a uh, the x-axis uh, parallel to this line so it can be uh, slid up and down this segment here or this edge so um, let's see here uh, one thing I did experiment with was snapping. Uh, I, I had my edge snapping turned on. And you can hold your shift key and begin to drag it. And uh, you can move it that way. Uh, you could turn on uh, uh, the other options here. Snap on third and snap on quarter and kind of move it along but it still still just doesn't really give you the slide effect um, to kind of have really good control over moving that point uh, so the solution I come up with is to use a custom grid so what I had to do is I went in here and I selected selected this edge and I just held my control key and I extruded a line out extruded that out there and uh, what that does is is gives us another a face uh, another object and then what I did is under the properties, uh, under the uh, scene panel here, I uh, clicked on the uh, custom working plane and then clicked on this face. And then I went in here and deleted this new object. select and go back to point or make sure you've got your curve selected and then you go back to points and now uh, what that did was set up a uh, custom work plane <coughs> and now as you can see the uh, z-axis is running parallel to this edge here so now if you had this point selected you can just slide it anywhere along this edge that you want to so I've been experimenting with uh, custom work planes quite a bit uh, working on a uh, tutorial um, I had uh, some stuff I needed I was uh, working on the house modeling tutorial and I uh, uh, there's some things that need to be moved on the roof line 
and that's how I discovered this and and uh, the drawback to uh, the uh, oh the custom working plane could be improved to um, the only way to set it kind of where you want is to use a face it will not uh, um, work with uh, edges um, if there's to ever be a hexagon 3 I think that that feature would really need to be added and by the way um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, please like this video and also uh, if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment I thought about starting a new video series uh, about um, feature request in in hexagon I know it's uh, not in development that I'm aware of uh, but maybe if we showed somebody, uh, in particular someone at Days 3D, uh, what we feel uh, day, uh, Hexagon could be capable of, maybe they would uh, continue to develop it, or maybe another company would purchase it and continue the development of Hexagon. Anyway, that's not, uh, I said that not to stir up uh, trouble with days, uh, not at all. I really like Hexagon, and and I, even though right now is not my primary modeling application, uh, with a few improvements, it certainly, certainly could be uh, my go-to uh, modeling application again but anyway please don't forget to subscribe and like this video um, that's it have a great day